All right, so today we're really excited to introduce Project Baby Step. Uh, this is a project that the team at Magic Texture has been working on for the past year, and we think we finally cracked the code and we're ready to start bringing you some of those ideas. And uh, it really came about after we built Little Thunder and we started getting contacted by a lot of different people who either wanted to, us to build one or they wanted to buy one. And there are a lot of reasons why the current model that we had built just wouldn't work for that. And so uh, the team, there are 10 of us that all kind of span different disciplines and we're all working on this problem, have been working on solving the three problems of the Backyard Roller Coaster. And we feel like we're in a place where we can actually bring it to you. And so those three problems are the ride vehicle, the track, and then the sheer cost of a Backyard Coaster. Um, and so uh, today is really special because today is the day where we're really actually gonna go full steam ahead with our R&D project. And we want to invite you, we want you to be involved in the process from the very beginning so you can see all the thought we've put into it and you know the product that we're working on. We're really proud of the product and we can't wait to share it with you. So come on, let's go and we're gonna start building this thing. All right, so here we have our beloved shoe, the Matterhorn Ride Vehicle. Uh, this was the really 12th iteration of the ride vehicle that we made for the Matterhorn. I think this was probably the, the second or third one that we got to actually consistently work. Uh, and the funny story about this ride vehicle is that uh, this isn't the ride vehicle you see on most of the videos that are uh, circulating about the Matterhorn. This one was built specially for Jeff Goldblum. Uh, when the Matterhorn got really big, we got contacted by Jeff's producers and they said, hey, we want Jeff to come out and experience the Matterhorn on one of our shows. I think it's the, the show he has on Disney Plus where he, he like talks about backyards or something. Anyway. If you know anything about Jeff Goldblum, he's a really tall guy. And if you've seen our Matterhorn videos, it was made for short people. And uh, he was not gonna fit. So we developed this ride vehicle to be able to fit Jeff Goldblum. So the idea was we'll make it as flat as possible. Oh, I'm gonna ride away. And so that he could lay down completely flat and his head probably would have been back here, but we got these handles here, and uh, this was probably the most polished version we had. And it was actually a very smooth ride, but sadly, uh, it didn't work out for travel, COVID reasons. And uh, now we're kind of stuck with this, with this ride vehicle. And so, uh, since Matterhorn doesn't exist anymore, we're going to use uh, this this as our kind of testing, our R&D. Um, we're trying to keep our R&D costs low so that uh, we can keep the cost when we actually get to sell these things really low. Um, but this should function, it should perform all the function that we need uh, to get a proof of concept for this, uh, for this R&D. So let's go ahead, we're gonna take apart the body all the way down to the chassis and uh, see what we have left. So now we've got the seating out, we'll be able to take out the shell. Uh, this is a fiberglass that we put on very quickly, we didn't have a lot of time. So I think it'll probably come off pretty quickly. I'm just going to cut a seam down the center and then try to split it apart. So we'll see how this goes. The shoe has been removed. <laughs> now we have left is a smelly foot. So here, come on in. Uh, we can look at this a little bit. All right, so I want to show you a little bit about the, the mechanics behind the right vehicle. So the front axle has the most movement of all the axles. So if I lift this end up, you can see the wheel assembly is able to rotate up and down. And then if I pick up, it can move back and forth. So as it's moving along the track. And then in addition to that, we've also got a bit of aft rotation as well. So this uh, particular uh, this particular chassis has a lot of movement and it was a really smooth ride once we had figured it out. It looks super sketch. Um, 
like I said before, when we made this, this was back when we were just putting together uh, a coaster. We didn't use any software or anything. Um, now we've got everything programmed in Fusion and in Rhino, so we've got a much better design. And then if you want to come to the back, the back is interesting. Um, they're also, we also have the same amount of movement on the wheel assembly, so it can move up and down. Um, but for the side to side movement, you can see we bore this plate on this wheel assembly so that we actually can get movement as well. Here, so this ride vehicle has a significant amount of movement in its, in its ride capabilities. Um, Come on down over here too. This is crazy. This looks like so old. This right here is the the old chain catcher, which I think it's actually spring loaded. Yeah. So this was the first uh, chain chain lift uh, dog that we used, and it worked. Um, very rudimentary, but it worked. So I think moving forward, what we'll do is we're going to cut off all of this excess stuff so <laughs> it's funny sitting here so your feet would have slid through here this is the part that framed the the nose of the of the ride vehicle we don't really need all this extra stuff really we just need this uh, one by one square tube and all the ex all the extra stuff is just fluff but Pretty crazy to see it down to this form. All right, well, uh, I think this is where we're gonna end it for now. Uh, we'll come back once we start pushing the, uh, the car forward a little bit more and start doing some more track stuff. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more updates.